Hey guys, this is my review for Ally, and admittedly this movie was very late, but I wanted to see it with my girlfriend before I saw it. Either way, Ally is a very interesting concept. Now, if you go and watch the original teaser, or the first trailer, you would have absolutely no idea what the concept of the movie was. I dare you, go back and watch the original trailer, and you will have absolutely no idea what the movie is about, other than that it's about a couple who are spies in the Second World War. It was the second trailer that introduced the idea that Marion Cotter could be a spy for the Germans. And now, I really like Robert Zemeckis' work, but the one big part that made me want to watch it was Stephen Knight. I like Stephen Knight's writing. The guy has some very interesting concepts. Locke was an amazing movie with a guy just in a car, the whole movie. That was a really cool idea. Uh, Peaky Blinders was also his idea. There's a lot of things that this guy has that he has a really good writing really cool hooks with them. So that was the idea that this one, that his wife was a spy, and the whole movie you're trying to figure out what that is. Well, really, that's the second part. The first part is them arriving in Casablanca and taking out a German ambassador. And there was a lot of elements about this that I liked, the idea of spy work in the 40s, and then kind of the adrenaline, the emotions, and everything that happens with a mission like this. There's a piece of dialogue that just before they're about to carry out their mission, he says to her, you look beautiful, so you told me that already, can you even see me? And he says, no, not really. And that's something that I thought was cool, the idea that they're addressing that they are pretty much like, they're about to do something that could kill them, and they're just blind with, uh, like just adrenaline is rushing through their body. So then going on to the second half of the movie, that's when the whole spy element comes in. And admittedly, I actually was on the fence the whole time. Usually in films like this, you can you can kind of guess who is who. Except this film does a really, really good job of keeping you guessing the whole way through. And I won't spoil it, but I did like how it ended. And admittedly, it was something a bit, I thought actually it was going to end differently. But that way it turns out it's still very good. The acting between the two is phenomenal. Brad Pitt has learned more French than he did in Glorious Bastards. <laughs> and also, speaking of Glorious Bastards, they got the guy, the number three guy, in it as well, which I thought was kind of interesting. Otherwise, this film is a bit, like, it's, Robert Zemeckis is usually, I call him the other Steven Spielberg in my opinion. He always tries things that are kind of very heartwarming with certain aspects, but he's always been the guy who can also Jump, jump into mature content, and there was a bit in this film, and I did enjoy the film. Admittedly, it is a little slow in certain areas, and Brad Pitt, as much as I like his acting in some areas, there were some times where I was kind of wondering, is he trying to do something right here? But uh, something that I was looking forward to is the chair kick, and I that looks so silly in the trailer, but they pull it off in this movie that it just kind of suddenly comes, and I was like, oh! Okay, maybe they realized how silly it looked in the trailer, so they just kind of didn't build up to it as much. I don't know. I just thought the chair kick looked silly, and it didn't look silly in the movie, oddly enough. I enjoy this film. The only problem is this is a film that relies on its twist, so you kind of can't rewatch it again afterwards. Like, you might enjoy some elements of it, but in reality, you wouldn't really be able to rewatch this again for its main aspect. Like the usual suspects, all these other things, the films that rely off twists. So in the end, I'm going to give Ally a 5 out of 7. I did enjoy it. I think it's a good film. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it's very, I thought it was well made. Stephen Knight, I love his writing. So anyway, guys, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.